All right, welcome back to our quarantine 30 day challenge. So it is week four. We actually missed last week, so it's not week three, but that's all right. We're gonna recap week two and three, just so we can see how my body changed. We did make progress, which I'm shocked about. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I, I gotta say, I love this. Usually I'm getting ready for a competition or you know, let's say a photo shoot or something. But the fact that I don't have any pressure I think it's making things a lot easier. You know, I'm experimenting a little bit differently. You know, I'm increasing my food so I'm not hungry and things are just flowing. I'm, I'm in a rhythm and I'm loving it. So today we're gonna be doing our leg workout. So our third day of our three day split. So I'll show you that a little bit later. But right now we're gonna be getting breakfast ready. And I think it's great to show you common breakfast. I know a lot of, you know, people or a lot of my clients struggle with breakfast, you know, what to eat, stuff like that. and what I can tell you is breakfast is just a time of day. Okay, it's not the type of food. So you can open it up to whatever you're eating throughout the day. So I'll show you right now uh, what I'm gonna be doing for breakfast. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of pan spray. And we're gonna throw in our 100 grams of chicken breast. I also have potatoes here. So I prepared these uh, last week and uh, I had leftovers. So what I did was I chopped it up and froze the leftovers. That way it's nice and convenient. I'll just take it out and it's easier. It takes like two minutes to defrost instead of taking the time to make fresh potatoes. We're gonna put in half tablespoon of olive oil. So what we're gonna do now is I like to brown my, my foods to a certain degree. So we're gonna brown this up a little bit. Okay, so next we're gonna add our spinach. I'm gonna take a handful of spinach and I'm just gonna just slightly chop it up. Throw it in. And we'll add salt, pepper now. And then once this comes down, we're gonna add our egg whites. That'll be the final, and then we're done at that point. All right, so that looks good. You don't wanna overcook it, just slightly with the spinach. And then I have 200 grams of egg whites. So that'll complete. So again, you guys struggling to, you know, find what type of protein you want to eat for breakfast. You don't have to eat just egg whites. You can, if you have chicken or some type of meat, you can uh, throw it in there. And this pan has reached its uh, end life. Everything's sticking to it. So I got to pick up a new pan. All right, I like my eggs um, a little bit softer, so I don't like to overcook it. So that looks about done. So let's go ahead and throw it on the plate. And there she is. So again, nice and easy. I think what makes it easy is that, you know, the potatoes are done, the chicken's done. Um, I, have, I have a method that I use to kind of, uh, you know, bulk prepare my chicken and potatoes. That way you're not, you know, making it uh, from scratch right in the morning. So I think that's a... That's a topic for another video. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know, type in the comments and uh, I'll probably put together a video on that as well. But yeah, let's, uh, let's start eating. All right, so one other thing. What about if you're fasting? Well, if you're fasting and it's working for you, you're getting the results you want, there's no need to change it. Keep doing what you're doing. If you're fasting and you're not reaching your goals, guess what? Time to throw out the fasting out the window. Start eating breakfast. This is gonna be the right way to do it. It's the most important meal of the day. You're gonna fuel your body right from the start. You're gonna get your metabolism moving and it's gonna set up your day for success. So if you need help with building out a plan, building out specific meals, contact me. We'll go over some options that works for you. You know, what about if you're not hungry in the morning? There's a reason for that. Maybe you're eating too much at night or whatever the case. We need to look at what you're currently doing. So everything can be fixed, but 
First things first, start with breakfast and take it from there. All right, so let's take a look at our progress from, from week two and week three. So you'll see my weight fluctuation throughout the week right here. So, you know, don't worry too much about uh, the weight day by day. It's gonna go up and down. As long as you're down for the week, that's what's most important. So for the week, you'll see here, I lost uh, 0.4 pounds. Another thing you wanna uh, do is not just go by scale weight, right? So, you know, a lot of people say, or you hear muscle is more dense than fat, and that's exactly what happened here. So. It, I did my body fat percentage again, and it went from 14.11, 14.11 from the previous week down to 12.94. So if we put that into math, we actually lost uh, 2.65 uh, per these readings. Is Again, is it accurate? No, but it's a good estimate, right? So if we look at the 0.4 compared to the 2.65, that means lean body mass also went up. Now, before the 30 days, you know, my, uh, my workouts were BS, right? So this is a nice structure. You know, I'm starting to get uh, good workouts now, and maybe I did lose a little bit of muscle uh, during that time frame uh, between when, when gyms closed and when I started this. So muscle memory uh, is kicking in. So uh, per this, it went up about 2.25 uh, pounds. And again, we wanna lose about around two to three pounds per week. So per the fat mass, uh, we're in that range. So week three, you'll also see my weight fluctuations here. And uh, week three was a little bit different. So I lost uh, 1.2 pounds, body fat percentage, 12.19. Uh, so per that, fat mass lost was 1.8 pounds and muscle memory uh, went up slightly, not compared to last week. So now, could you do this quicker, right? Some people might be thinking, well, that's not a lot of weight lost in uh, three weeks. You don't wanna lose too much weight too fast. What, can you do it? Absolutely, but you know what else is gonna happen? This right here, this up here, lean body mass, you're gonna tank it. So if you're trying to target fat mass, if you're trying to target fat, you wanna do it slow and steady, the right way, eating the right foods, doing the right workouts and the right cardio, and you're gonna target mostly fat mass, and you're not gonna hit your uh, your muscle. These last two weeks, lost about four pounds of fat mass, muscle memory uh, or lean body mass went up about three pounds. Scale weight was only 1.6 pounds, so that's awesome. Another cool thing to note is with the sight readings, you'll see that some body parts are actually more stubborn than others. I'll give you an example. This abs right here, the second column, that's the lower abdomen, right? How many people complain about that lower abdomen fat? And you'll see it's, it's a pretty big number as compared to all the others. So you would assume that the weight would actually come off there fast or first, but it's staying pretty consistent. So others are dropping where the ab fat is staying relatively high. So what do you need to do to lose that lower ab fat? What you need to do is just stay consistent. If your plan is working, if you're losing weight, if you're losing fat mass, keep going. It's gonna eventually come off, okay? So that's the secret. Keep going, everyone's different. People hold, hold fat differently, so if it's working, keep going, and it'll eventually come off. So again, take your plans slow and steady, lose weight slow and steady, don't do crazy crash diety, crazy plans. What's gonna end up happening is if you try to lose too much, if you starve yourself too much, you're gonna end up binging, you're gonna end up failing, you're gonna regain the weight, and you're gonna start back from square one. So next week I'm looking forward to wrapping up the 30 days and seeing how we did overall. And uh, I'm gonna compare side by sides and we'll take a look at what I looked like when we started versus what we look like now. All right, let's get going with our leg workout. Just like any other workout, super important to warm up. So if you could just do some standing squats, 
do, you know, if you need one, two, or three sets, do multiple reps until you feel a nice burn and everything's ready to go. So this will warm up your knees, super important, and then you can start with your first exercise. So if you're new to Bulgarian split squats and you need some help with balance, just grab a chair, put it on the opposite side that you're working and just slightly hold on as you're doing it. And that'll give you some balance as you're doing this uh, workout. And then if you wanna add some resistance, you can do it with a band like I'll show you right here, or you can use a dumbbell on each side. So for the close stance squats, you'll see that I'm using a heel elevation. So if you can grab either weights or some type of material, a wood that's about a half inch to an inch thick, it's going to give you better leverage on this exercise, focusing on the quads. All right, well, that concludes our leg workout for today. Feel free to add or remove sets depending on how much volume you want for your workout. If you liked the video and the workout for today, feel free to hit that like button, show some support. And next week, we'll be doing our final wrap up of our 30 day challenge. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified on that last video. And we'll see what the results are for the 30 days. All right, bye guys, see you next week.